In today's Madden 21 tip video, we're going to be breaking down a uh, little under center red zone mini scheme for you out of our New England Patriots offensive ebook, kind of showing you a little bit of a preview play um, so that you can kind of see what this offense is all about. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never met me before, uh, what I do here is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks for my subscribers and basically try to help everybody get better at Madden 21 as I do my best myself to continue to grow and improve at this video game. So if you're interested in getting better on the offensive and defensive side of the ball at Madden 21, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner. We upload videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Also, if you're looking to get even more involved with my community, I would highly encourage you to join my community Discord. We live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and play Madden with people who are a part of our Discord uh, membership. Uh, the Discord is completely free to join. There's just a link in the description that you can click um, to join it and basically create an account. It's an app you can get on your cell phone or on your tablet. And uh, what I really like about it is it's a place where we can all uh, connect. We can all talk Madden 24-7. We can meet new people, um, practice Madden together, and uh, just enjoy the game together. So if you're looking um, for a community like that, I would highly encourage you to join our Discord. A link is in the description for that. All right, guys. So I have officially um, released my New England Patriots offensive guide and this guide is over th uh, over 300 pages long it has everything you could possibly need on the offensive side of the ball now even though it's a large guide there are um, obviously some things that you can do that are to kind of get started a quick start um, in the ebook for you there's a couple of key formations that if you just learn those formations you will be fine. The reason I wanted to put more in there is because I really wanted to make sure that you guys were getting the best bang for your buck and also to make sure that you guys um, were able to understand the entirety of this offense. This offense has been effective in Madden for years. This is not just the first year. It's been effective in Madden as long as I've been playing Madden, which has been over nine years now um, on YouTube. So uh, what I want to encourage you to do is just consider it. Maybe it's from a Christmas gift. Maybe, um, you know, maybe you want to pick it up. Maybe you want to get uh, yourself better at the game. It's really, really, really good. And um, it's really, really detailed and really, really intense. And I think that if you put the time in and you're willing to learn and read it and take it uh, and practice it, you'll find that your offense will go to a whole nother level in this game. Um, it will go to a whole nother level, I guarantee it. So you can pick that up in the description. I wanted to show you kind of a, uh, a little mini scheme uh, from it that you can use in the red zone. If you're looking um, for something that you need to be able to score in the red zone effectively, this could be something that's really, really effective. So it's the single back bunch ace, uh, and we're going to put the quick pitch in our audibles. We're also going to put the halfback wham in our audibles. Uh, we're going to put the spacing switch in our audibles. That's going to be our primary passing play. And then um, we're also going to put the um, tight end angle route, uh, tight end angle, or the four verticals, whichever you want to do. I'm going to go with tight end angle, though. And the trick to this is we're actually going to come out in the empty ace patriot. And the play plays that we're going to put in this set is we're going to put the spacing concept, the wide receiver screen, the pats go y dig, and then the empty stick and nod. And the play we're going to be coming out in with this formation is the um, the pats um, the empty stick. Okay, the empty empty stick. Now what this is going to do is if they are in anything other than a nick other than a nickel set. So let's say they come out because they see five wide, right? Let's say they come out in dime. If they come out in dime, it's automatic. You're going to audible down to your single back bunch ace and and just destroy them, right? Um, but what this allows you to do is it allows you to spread the defense out. So the defense, like if I'm I'm pressing the coverage right here, but I can only press the coverage so much because I can't I can't press these tight ends because I'm in a nickel set. So what this allows is this allows the spacing play right here to be very, very effective. Literally, all you're going to do is call this 
and you'll be surprised. You can lowball these hitches against man. If they run man coverage on you in the red zone, you literally just call this play. And I'll show you what I mean even further. This is cover two man, and I'm going to press coverage. And what I'm going to do with my outside safeties is I'm going to put them in hard flats, or you know, I don't know what people would even do with these guys. I'll just put them in hook curls. That's fine. We'll just hook the safeties. So watch these, watch these hitches um, on the spacing concept. They press from man coverage. You can throw that to Gronk, low ball inside pass lead, and you can hit that route. Okay. Now most of the time. Um, because they don't have to worry about getting beat deep, they're going to um, they're going to be able to, you know, obviously shade underneath coverage. So that's just something that you want to watch. And if you wanted to to be safe, you could put one of your outside guys on a curl and smart route it just so it gets really good separation against that press man. But as you can see, these these little hitches. They are really good um, in the red zone because they can't press, because they can't come out in a dime. If they were in a dime and they're able to press you, um, this is going to be a lot more difficult. But what you'll notice, the one that I will throw probably the most is this route to Cameron Brait right here. I find this route to be dang near impossible to stop um, with a linebacker or even with a safety at linebacker. Um, and what you're doing, just to be clear, you are pass leading these down into the inside. Now, if they go to zone, something like that right there, you can high point them. You can high point them. If they're shading that underneath coverage on those yellows, um, let me give you an example. I'm going to go to cover two, and I'm going to shade coverage down. And I just want to show you how this works. Um, you'll see here that I can hit these hit these hitches. I can hit X over and over again. So this is just going to put some stress on them, okay? They're going to have to respect the fact that you could pass. Now, if you want to test them, um, you can test this wide receiver screen. If it's, you know, if they're not playing disciplined defense, if they're not playing zone across the board or whatever, if they're trying to blitz you on the red zone, this wide receiver screen is really, really effective. You can hit this route to Godwin against the blitz. Um, if they're in zone coverage, you can check down and go over here to this side. Um, McCoy's route's not as good as Godwin's, I would say, but McCoy's route has a little bit more, you know, um, potential uh, outside of this. But let's just say, like, you know, again, because he because he kind of runs back. So really what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to peek to Godwin and then you're wanting to come back across to wide to uh, McCoy. You're only going to run this if they're in something like this. So if you have a numbers advantage on that left side, then you'll run this play. And again, I'm just looking here. I want this guy to set and then go and maybe break a tackle and get in. Now, again, I rarely called wide receiver screen, but I just wanted to show that play. The next play that you're going to run is actually a four verticals play, this wide receiver screen. If you see something like this a lot where they're in Tampa 2 and they're going to basically come down and, and, and play you hard, like, you know, they're going to kind of get underneath these hitches, um, just pass lead up this. this uh, all you got to do is pass lead to the inside these streaks. So if you see them go to zone, um, again, this simple uh, Pats go dig, uh, watch Godwin here. Pass lead to the inside, and he's going to beat it because those zones are shaded down. They're coming down on the hitches. There's no hitches, and you just throw the that, that route in behind it. So that's an option, too, that you can mess around with if you're in the red zone. One more thing that you can do. Let's say they're running a lot of press man um, out of a cover two set. And I showed this tip yesterday. But watch. If I motion McCoy to the right, you're going to see that he's going to stack himself. And I, need, I, I do need to be on one hash or the other to run this. So this couldn't work in a two-point conversion. But this can work for something like this right here. And what you'll see right here is if they run two man under, and I showed this yesterday, um, I'm going to go to this stick and knot. If they're pressing me up big time, I'm just going to go to this play right here. Motion McCoy to the right. And I, I'm sorry, I have to be on the right hash. I'm sorry, I messed up. You have to be on the short side of the field uh, to do this. So if, you, if you're on the left hash, you just flip the play. Um, but anyway, so like something like this right here. Now, I'm going to motion McCoy to the right side of the field, and um, I need to be an empty stick and nod to make sure that I get the right route. Now, this route to Gronk is incredible. This route's going to be very, very effective for you, especially in the red zone. If they're running, man, he's going to get open. But if you watch here on the press, just hard right, hard right pass lead McCoy, it's an automatic touchdown. If they press you in the red zone, and I get a lot of press man in the red zone, if they press you in the red zone and you're on the right hash mark, it doesn't matter. I mean, this thing is, this thing is insane. Now, you could go to this play here from Pat's Y Dig if you wanted to, and you could kind of put, um, you know, you could try to you know, get something like that. You see there, but I don't like that necessarily because you see how Alexander kind of jumps on it because it's an unbumpable. So there's just some things that you got to be careful with and just lab up. But why empty stick and knot is the safest bet that you could go to. 
uh, out of this formation. And again, all you're doing is just motion McCoy in. That's it. There's nothing else. He's going to jump down on him, and you're just throwing that out to the right side, and you're going to get an automatic touchdown if they're in press man. Now, if they're not, let's say they bluff it, right? So let's say they go to press man, but they shade coverage up. Well, shading coverage up is one of the worst things that you can do in the red zone. And that's why on the back side, I'm going to run a hitch and a smoke screen. And if they shade coverage up, I'm going to throw the hitch. And, of course, Sullivan made a play of his career. Um, if they shade coverage up, I'm going to throw the hitch. So what most people are going to do to stop that route to McCoy is they're going to have to shade their coverage up to be able to get out on that ball. Well, okay, then that that's why I leave this open. So you'll see here, if the corner goes with him, then I'm just sh shading that coverage up. And then, obviously, I still have that check down to Gronk as well. So I have multiple routes that can be um, effective against the coverage depending on the coverage that they run, um, that can be really, really effective. Obviously, you can run slants. Um, you can always run slants um, in the red zone, in my opinion. Uh, we'll show you here, empty stick and nod. And we'll motion this guy, McCoy, in. You'll see if we shade coverage up, um, there's not going to be that switch that's going to occur. But what you can do is just pass lead that route to Godwin. Um, dang it. Uh, pass lead that to the inside. I think what's happening is I'm not throwing him to the inside enough, and that's what's causing the issue. Um, for those curls on the red zone, they really do value um, your pass leading. And so that's why you want to make sure that you're passing this inside. So we'll show you this one more time. And hard right in. That's what we're looking for right there. Hard inside. So that was the mistake I was making. But anyway, so you have that option. Now what you can do, though, is you can audible to any ace set. So I could go down here to the single back bunch ace. And I can be in single back bunch ace. They're in a bad defense for me. So I come down into something like this, and I test their pitch defense. Single back, uh, single back bunch ace quick pitch is really effective um, because you have good blocking, you have good tight ends in there to block. The next thing I could do is I could come down. Let's say they're not. Let's say they're doing something like this, right? They're shifting, they're spreading, all this stuff. I can say, you know what? I'm going to go halfback wham, and uh, and I'm going to try to power it right down the middle right down the middle of the of the defense. Um, so you have that. Obviously, you can go to any ace formation. So you could go to ace close if you wanted to. You could go to ace slot. You could go to anything. Um, this halfback wham, I find it to be fairly effective um, on the red zone. Um, just this quick little motion over. Um, as far as that block goes, sometimes you know you get that bad alignment or whatever, but um, it's, it's really more for um, the single back, you know, like single back, something like this right here where they're they're not really respecting the run you know because you're coming out in five wide and they're just saying okay well you're gonna pass every play and then you, them, you catch them off guard with this that's where i really like that halfback way i'm just a quick hitting you know i'm gonna run the ball right down the middle and i'm gonna get a nice little cross back block um to be able to uh take advantage of that and then if they're if they're pinching their their team in they're really trying to stop the inside run then you could hit them with the outside run with that with that little pitch um, but with the with the reach for animations being so powerful, um, this is a viable option. And then I wanted to go over uh, one passing play from the single back bunch ace. You could go to this play spacing spacing switch. This play is an amazing, amazing, amazing play. As you notice, uh, Mike Evans is on this route right here. So what I could do is take my back here and just put him on a quick flat. And these little hook curls are going to kill man. Um, they're going to they're going to kill man. This this specific one. Um, on this play is really really good because he's in compression and again they're not going to be able to press because of um, because of the the alignment so like for example let's say they went man and they press coverage you right and you went to spacing switch back is on a flat and you could honestly I would probably wheel the back but just get him out of the way you see that these little little curls um, if you're worried about press man Literally, all you have to do, um, if you're worried about press man, when you audible down into this, is to just take, um, just take your um, your uh, square receiver and put him on a hitch route and smart route it, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then what you'll notice is he's gonna kind of settle up right here, uh, and you can pass lead him inside. And again, you gotta make sure that you throw it inside right there. I made the mistake of not throwing it inside. Um, obviously, you know, if they're pressing, uh, another thing that you're going to be able to do out of this spacing switch is you can hit that tight end on the right side as well. 
Um, again, the zone coverage, one of, it's just reading the curls, right? One of the curls are going to be open. Um, the route to Cameron Brake does a really good job, too, of getting open on this. Uh, but what you'll see is this route right here um, to Gronk. There's just these little button curls, little, little curls up. Um, you're probably not going to be facing man coverage. I just cover two-man stock on the red zone. And the reason why is because it's not a sound defense against the run. Um, it's, it's really not because you just don't have the run fits there. It's going to be challenging to be able to stop the run. But what you'll see here, this little route to the tight end, right when he curls up, just settle up. And it's a, you got to make sure when you low ball it, you're also passing him to the inside. But that's going to beat it. And then uh, cover two is probably going to do the best against this. Uh, so I want to show you uh, cover two real quick. And again, these just little button curls uh, with these flats are really, really hard to stop uh, in the red zone. And you'll see right here, it's just kind of pick the open curl, uh, pick the open curl. And um, what you want to make sure you do with that, that backside guy is you want to make sure you put him on a hitch. I'm going to show you that real quick, what that looks like. Because I forgot to put him on a hitch there. So we're going to put um, Mike Evans on a hitch. And now you just have these little, you know, there's just these little things. Now, if you wanted to, you could just motion got one out just to kind of create a little bit more spacing with this. But you see, Cameron Braid's wide open. And, and oftentimes, Cameron Braid is going to be the guy that's wide open against zone, and Gronk's going to be the guy that's wide open against man. Um, but this is just a simple little play. Uh, and like I said, you could go down to this. Um, another thing you can do, um, because you have, um, you know, you could, you could obviously – take Godwin here and you could put him on pretty much anything. If you wanted to put him even on a hitch, you could do that. Uh, but what you'll see here is if you're in something like this, you can always try to high point. Um, now they did kind of mess up high points in the red zone, in my opinion. But uh, one other thing that you could do uh, really, really quick, I want to show you once they start to kind of feel that out and they start to take stuff like that away, then you could go to something like this little play right here, which is this angle route and run that hitch flat on the backside here. So it looks kind of the same. And they're all underneath, and then you got that angle out in the back side of the end zone. So that's kind of a little red zone scheme from the guide. Um, but we also have several other plays from the guide as well for the red zone. But um, guys, this ebook is really, really powerful. Um, it really just gives you answers against anything the defense is going to try to do max coverage, heavy blitzing, uh, base coverages, match coverages, um, cover two, cover three, cover four. Doesn't matter what they do, you're going to have an answer for it with this guide. So I'd highly encourage you to pick up the ebook. Um, this is just a little red zone segment. This is just one of the many options that you can go to when you're down in the red zone. And if you've been watching any of the MCS, you know that it is really, really, really important this season to be able to consistently score from the 10-yard line in because that is always, every single year, that is the key. Are you going to score touchdowns or are you going to score field goals? This ebook, this offense, will teach you how to score touchdowns every single time and be super, super consistent on the offensive side of the ball. So it's everything I know about offense into one ebook, um, and it's based out of the Patriots book, but there's also some really good stuff that cross applies into other playbooks as well. So I'd highly encourage you if you haven't already picked up the ebook to go ahead and do that. And if you haven't joined the text membership yet, we're sending a free sample to our text message members today um, and today only. And that is at 812-216-3644. Just shoot me a text. That's my cell phone number. 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and it's also in the uh, description below. But uh, just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to receive that. It's, an, it's a, it's a uh, sample formation. But uh, we will see you guys in our next video.